causation is often confused with association. Association means that two variables have a strong observed connection. But a strong connection does not mean that one variable necessarily results from another variable. When we misinterpret association as causation, we can reach some bizarre conclusions. We'll illustrate this with a light example. The population of Louisiana has been increasing at a rate of about 48,000 people per year since 1970. At the same time, the state's land mass is decreasing at the rate of 17.5 square miles a year. Can we say that the increased weight of all these people is causing the state to sink into the bayou? Hardly. Increased population is caused by, among other things, increases in the number of jobs available in the state. Land settling is a geological process. Even though changes in the two variables are observed simultaneously, they are not causally related. Here's an association, a little known piece of beach trivia. Ice cream sales are positively associated with the number of drownings. In other words, as ice cream sales go up, so do the number of drownings. How do we explain this? Well, it could be that big globs of cold ice cream in the stomach cause bodies to sink in water. Another explanation might be that onlookers console themselves by eating all the ice cream in sight. Is there a better explanation? Ice cream really has nothing to do with why people drown. There are common but hidden factors here. The temperature and the beach population. On a hot day, more people go to the beach. More ice cream is sold and more people drown, simply because there are more swimmers. We call the weather and the number of people on the beach lurking variables, hidden factors that influence both ice cream sales and drownings. 